Alrighty, round three. Here we are. I'm going to show you some things about the horses and the horse screens. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead, um, let's go back to our stable stats screen. The one thing I want to show you here is a couple of different things. Uh, the all horses screen versus the stable stats screen, let's start with the all horses screen. All horses screen is actually going to show us all of our horses and all of our stables. If we end up running past 100, it's going to give us a next little arrow down here. Uh, that can be a little overwhelming, I understand, but I'll show you a couple of things on how to circumvent that and how to make it less overwhelming. Say, for instance, though, that you just want to look at your onk stable, or my onk stable. I can go to stable stats and hit onk, and it will just show the horses in onk. So that's, that's a neat little trick. I guess it's really not that neat, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go back to the all my horses stable, though, and show you another trick. These are all the horses in my stable. Uh, I want to explain something over here while, I, while I'm here, as you can see that each horse has this little set of badges now. I, I think these are neat. Uh, I think Revelation was the guy who kind of uh, turned me on to this more to players than horses. I plan on doing it eventually to the players, haven't had time yet, but I thought it'd be really neat if horses earned their own little badges. Uh, as you can see of these horses that I've brought over to the new game, Watch Your Son is my best. He's got a grade three. He gets a nice little star. Uh, it's kind of like being back in third grade. Actually, maybe even first grade. I, I took me several years to get through third grade, so I think it was more like first grade. Uh, but as they also um, earn more money, for instance, Watch Your Son has this nice 250 badge, and he's earned 250. I've got a 500 badge, so if he earns another 4,000 some bucks, uh, he's gonna get he's gonna get that 250 replaced with a 500. Allowance winners, if they've raced in claim races, I always find that interesting. I'm not sure that it. I'm not sure it's as useful to me as it is interesting, but I always find it interesting, particularly if an, if you see a horse that has like G1 and a claim. It's like, wow, you know what? I could have had that horse if I'd have been wise enough. Uh, SP is stakes placed. He's just a winner. He's won the allowance race. Um, you know, just, just typical stuff. You'll get real used to these. And the nice thing about getting used to them is once you get used to them, you can kind of, I won't say you can ignore this stuff in the middle, but your eyes will hopefully be drawn to this and you'll be able to tell quickly about a horse and, you know, a lot more than you used to know quickly about him. But again, this screen can be a little overwhelming at times. This is a screen where you're going to do a lot of your work from, though, so we don't want to be overwhelmed with it. But um, a couple things we can do to keep from being overwhelmed. These headers are sortable. So um, if you wanted to sort, for instance, by stable, and that's the, what the screen is we're on, you can see, sorted by stable. If you wanted to sort by horse name, you can do that. Uh, there's a lot of other ways to do it, um, but oh, and the bread, I, always, I like this one, you know, if you're looking for certain, certain breedings. Uh, but the one that's probably the most useful, honestly, oh, and you can sort by badges. This one's pretty neat because it usually brings some of your better horses to the top. So uh, you can play little games with your horses. You know, I, this, this is how nerdy I am. I always like, you know, act like my horses are against one another. And this would be an instance where I'm like, oh, well, look, you know, if, uh, you know, if Chicago Lane can do a little better, he could jump over some of the stamps, you know. So it's kind of like a... Yeah, it's just what uh, nerdy guys like me do. But, you know, he probably won't because Send the Stamps is about ready to get his 250 badge. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. He still doesn't want a stake, so his stake's placed. So that's pretty cool. But um, anyway, the one that's really the most useful is this plan. The health and the plan. And I'll show you why. You can sort by health. And you're going to see some new emblems. Instead of like before, you had, you know, horses sharp, horses ready to go, horses lay off. You still have those. Those really haven't changed, but instead of having words, you just have like little symbols. And if you mouse over them, you can see, like, you know, here, uh, bring back the wire sharp. He's very ready to race. Uh, the other symbols that you're going to see, this is, uh, he's, he's ready to go. Benny Rocks is. A new symbol is this little pig here. And uh, that means your horse hasn't raced in a while. Before, he would have been listed as ready to go, but honestly, he really needed a race. And I went ahead and said, hey, um, you know, we need to train this horse. So it's called, I like to call it fat. So your horse is fat. He needs some training. That's, you know, he's not overtrained. He's not tired. He's just, you know, uh, he's been eating too many snacks and whatnot. It's time to bring him, rein him in. Uh, this is your, your old little groggy. So a lot of your horses, when you race, are going to have this little guy. Oh, and I'll have to explain something else about this groggy guy, too, or actually just these in general, but uh, Taffy brought it up to me, and it's good to, to recognize. You know, this, tire, this horse is tired. These horses are injured. They need an extended rest. There's actually two levels of injured. There's the ones that need an extended rest. I guess that's the layoff now, and then you're going to see ones that are really injured. They get, I don't even know what it is, but I promise it's not like the Grim Reaper or something. It's some other symbol that I can't recall at the moment. But that's your health. 
the one thing I was going to tell you about health that's worth noting now is that horses actually improve every day. So they improve, I do an extract between about 11, or actually between about noon and 1 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, uh, every day. So your horse improves every day, but the thing to also remember, since your horse is improving every day, uh, unlike the old game when a horse raced, he would go down to a certain level. They actually go a little further than they do used to. And that makes sense when you consider that before I could only update once a week. So really, at the end of the week, he was the same as it was at the beginning of the week. So really, I kind of had a little built-in working out into that number. That's changed, so you're probably going to see your horses get a little more tired off a of race than they used to. But remember, you got six days, you know, compared to where you would before. So it's not that they're really getting more tired. They're just displaying it for those first few days. Um, the other thing that you're going to really want to get used to is this plan. So this is uh, what we do with the horse, obviously. There's different things on the screen where before we had our screens all over the place. That was just hard to deal with. We dealt with horse numbers and race numbers. We had to move across screens for auctions. We had to move across screens just to enter a horse in a race. It's really, honestly, uh, you know, I'll just I'll slam myself here, I suppose. I would like to say... It wasn't poorly conceived, and in a way, you know, I'm going to defend myself and go, hey, it was a different time, I didn't have SQL, I had to actually store things in text files, I have a great advantage over my, you know, I probably could have done a little better, but, you know, once you start writing a game one way, it really is hard to, you know, change the entire paradigm midstream of how to enter horses and races and things, especially uh, without databases to do so easily so yeah this is going to be a lot easier i think when you see it what the plan is is uh, these horses here are training these horses down here are racing these horses you haven't really done or i haven't done anything with this horse is at the auction and these horses are at the farm um when we i, I think what we probably want to start with here let's start with the horse we haven't done anything with okay these are horses that i need to do something with um you know they probably need to be trained for a race and there's a reason I'm not training them for a race, and I'll show, or really, it's to show you something later. But I'm going to go ahead and train them for a race now. Okay, for instance, uh, my boy Danko Jones, who Danko is a fabulous Canadian musician, by the way. Um, if you like straight ahead rock, you really don't do much better than Danko Jones anymore. I really like the dude. And he's also got a pretty good personality, unlike myself. But um, Danko, last time he raced was 811. And um, you can actually look over here. You can say, oh, well, now I can tell right away when he raced last. That's kind of helpful. If you click it here, it opens up, you know, over top. Hey, I just got an email message about something. Oh, somebody subscribed. Uh, Guero, somebody, and it went away. Um, long and short of it is, is uh, this is, uh, you know, the information you're used to seeing. It pops up in a nice little pop-up box. It doesn't open a new window. We don't have the luxury of frames anymore. No site uses frames anymore, so I'm getting away from it. Personally, I find it convenient. But, you know, it's not 1937 anymore, and uh, I made Jennifer put the flapper dress away, so I put the frames away, and we're working away from frames and using divs now. So um, here we go with the div. But if you want it opened in your own window in a different window, you can hit N. That stands for new window. And uh, let me see. Well, my computer kind of froze here, probably because I'm uh, running Spotify, running the new version of the game, and a whole bunch of other stuff in the background. So who knows? You can see of you know it's not the website so that's the good news it's actually Mike's computer there we go that's what happens when when you uh, you know try to pull up my my website on a you know on a Vic 20 uh, it takes a while so and you know that was that was for the three fans who actually know what a Vic 20 is uh, I wanted to avoid the the, t the trash 80 reference so um, 300 bob modems yeah see i go way back i'm old school nerd but anyway um what we got here is that shows you how to open up a new window when you train a horse you can do it several ways one way is simply entering the horse in a race if you enter danko jones in a race he's going to be trained so you don't have to worry about training him that's why i didn't really worry about training him uh if i enter him in a race here let's go find a race he's raced um he's a two-year-old i don't want to over race him uh let's look for a race i'm going to hit search um, his next, the next race here is uh, Thursday and Friday. Yeah, that's that's too close. So, um, you know, eh, you know what? Let's let's not enter him in this race. 